Goddess, I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant advances to the idea of becoming your friend, but I really relish the idea of becoming your maid servant. Loud, and slow. Oh, Goddess, I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant abeyances to the idea of becoming your friend, but I really relish the idea of becoming your maid servant. Oh, Queen of Vrindavana, I take shelter of your cooling lotus feet that are filled with all the nectar honey of pure love, and that even Madhupati, the Lord of sweetness Sri Krishna, keeps to his heart to soothe his terrible, lusty affliction. Oh, Queen of Vrindavana, I take shelter of your cooling lotus feet that are filled with all the nectar honey of pure love and that even Madhupati, the Lord of sweetness Sri Krishna, keeps to his heart to soothe his terrible, lusty affliction. Sri Radhika protects Sri Krishna's senses. That's why she is a gopi. The verbal root gop means protecting. Giridari does not feel the slightest distress while lifting Govardhana hill. His pleasure potency stands before him and solves everything. Read again. O oh, oh Queen of Vrindavana, I take shelter of your cooling lotus feet that are filled with all the nectar honey of pure love. And that oh, Radhika, I take your shelter of your cooling lotus feet. Slow, not rest. Why? Without taking shelter of your lotus feet, my soul consciousness will not exist. If I do not take that shelter of your lotus feet, I will take shelter of material world. Because your lotus feet is divine, so it is cooling. And material shelter is creating suffering. We have body. We need to do something in material world. But taking shelter of only material thing is not healing me. 
Always I keep mind for material things, means I took shelter of material things. It's never helpful to us. It's creating suffering in my life. We become tired with material world. So material world, how to live in this, how to balance it, that has to learn. Somebody want to live in material world, he don't want to free from that. The life and goal is to live only in material thinking and working and living. This is all creating suffering. And we suffer and we know reach any place. Your lotus feet is soothing me, healing me, cooling me because by mercy of you, I realize my soul. Because without soul, I cannot reach you. When I practice to be free from material world, I have to live in soul consciousness. What is material and what is this spiritual? What is the spiritual? Anything is start with the soul is the spiritual. And anything you work with the ego or body is material. Then you use your senses, your hand to work in this material. And then it's, I'm, my life is going on and on and I die. And I suffer. Sometimes my goal is only to enjoy the senses. Sometimes not I can enjoy to think for the sense enjoyment. Think to earn money only, but I don't know how to balance it. I have to do A, I do B. Only I arrange for my sense in you. This is not a goal of a human life. It's not cooling us. The gopis means soul. Gopis serve to Krishna. Gopis is a soul consciousness. This is serving to Krishna. Fulfill all desire of Krishna and material body is a male and the soul is the female. When I come in soul consciousness, I become gopi then I see super soul. Super soul is the Krishna. Soul bring me to super soul to fulfill the desire and satisfaction for the Lord. Gopi Bhav is satisfying for Krishna happiness and material body satisfied that I am the male and I have come for enjoyment to enjoy this material. You are male. My body is female, but enjoyment tendency means male consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Shri Radhika protects Shri Krishna's senses. That's why she is a gopi. You see, Radhika protects Krishna's senses. And we protect material words, teach me to protect my senses. To enjoy my senses. And, and Radhika is teaching to protect Krishna's senses. Serve the Krishna senses. What is serving to Krishna is a spiritual, is not a, like a human body, is a divine body. His senses is divine. By touch of his divine, you will become divine. By touch of material, I will become material. More material. You touch the material senses, you will more desire will grow for the material senses to touch. And that is never satisfying. A, B, C, D is going on and on. And when you will touch, Radhika teaches to touch Krishna senses. If you want to touch, touch that. And satisfy his senses. And how you will satisfy that? Not with material body. Your soul wants this. They will meditate to satisfy Krishna's senses. Fulfill the desire of Krishna is his spiritual body, your soul body. So you will start living in the soul consciousness in Gopi Bhava. Because your mind will be thinking for Krishna happiness, not your happiness. He said here that uh, Radhika protects Krishna's senses. So uh, when I hear that, it's, it's come automatically to invite us to take her shelter. If Krishna take, if, if, if Radhika is protector of Krishna's senses, so we are nowhere if we don't, don't take her shelter. Right, because Radhika is protecting Krishna senses, means she is divine, and your material body cannot serve Radha and Krishna. If you not identify your spiritual body, and the spiritual body starts with the soul, not with material body you can reach to spiritual body. You have to take the center of Radhika. To make happy yourself. Because you have to learn from her, not with the material consciousness, the spiritual consciousness. You like to fly to Italy, you have to sit in plane, you cannot walk and go reach to it. Because it's a long way. So, so our shelter must sit in flight. Then she will fly and bring you to the Italy. <coughs> to bring down better. No, if you have a goal to go, it will leave that. Yes.
that way. Dawan is not better for you. Italy is better because your flight ticket is cancelled. So, and when you want to come to Dawan, you have to do the same. You have to take the flight to come to Vrindavan. Then now you want to go to Maya Nagari from Vrindavan, then you have to take shelter of Maya to go back to Mamethesi as well. How you use your time in Vrindavan, it depends upon you how, how much you learn or not learn. How much you practice to be living in the soul consciousness, that depends upon you. Somebody no land, come from Italy and he no land. He is also thinking for Italy and some girl and boy and material. Then what is happening? Your body is in Vrindavan but you still do not land to Vrindavan. So how you realize Vrindavan? Right? Where you are living, you have to live there, then is it living. You do not think out of that. This is the meaning of living in Vrindavan. Kriya and Bhajan, huh? Yeah. Right. Gurudev, I don't know, just like in the beginning of this verse, he said, no, 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 it's okay. In the beginning of reading today, so this commentary of Ananda Das Baba, he said, O Queen of Vrindavan, I take shelter of your cooling lotus feet that are fi fi filled with all the nectar honey of pure love. So he said, I take shelter of your cooling lotus feet. And also in Shikshashtaka, he also said, Please consider me to be a speck of dust attached to your lotus feet. This is the thing. Our understand, no go in line is not remember, is not philosophy. Is a, is a feeling to keep in heart our practice that you remember the sloka. is not a sloka. It should go in heart. Your heart, cooling lotus feet, means you have only love and love not move with the body, material thing. Love move with the soul consciousness and feeling, not with the sense in you. We think that feeling is coming when I sense in you. This is my feeling. It's a garbage. A stinky place you are searching in love. Are Feeling is coming from the heart. You feel it and it goes bring you up, not low. Sense is you are meant to bring you down in material existence. Because you need to search some opposite senses. And in spiritual way, you don't need anything, you need your soul, what you forget from the influence of the Maya material. Only to take the center of Radhika means you moving for the soul way, is spiritual. Gurudev, I feel that uh, Lotus Feet, when it's mentioned Lotus Feet, is connected very with, with heart. There is some connection with lotus feet of Radhika and heart, actually. Are lotus feet the mercy dust of her? Lotus feet means the love of the goddess of love. 
who fool to satisfy even the Lord, Creator. The Krishna want to take his lotus feet because love comes from lotus feet. Divine love is not self enjoyment. There is two things, material and spiritual. Soul from the soul is spiritual thing developed and from the body and senses material thing is not. Which way you want to go? You want to cool yourself, you have to take shelter of soul. This is the A for the spiritual life. And for material life, your body is the A. What you want to do? Your ego is the B. Your senses is C. This thing requires A, B, C. And in spiritual life, soul requires, super soul requires. Super soul is Krishna, and soul is you, is spirit of the God. And the love is required, that is Radha. This is A, B, C. What you want? What is your need? You will move that. Clear or not? I do. Wait. What you want, you decide. Then you will grow. If you don't want to grow, who will help you? If I have no greed for that, nobody can help you. A spiritual master can only navigate when your desires are there. Navigate and inspire also. Why inspiring? If I, I have no desires, I have a desire for something inspired, I will forget. I need greed for that. What is the meaning of listening? That I have no greed, I will increase my greed. And listen every day, I have no greed. Anything will not work. Greed is like some fire who is always present, must be always present inside. That has to understand. If you take one word so long time, then how you will progress? That understanding has to be clear. Present where you live, present you will be there. Our practice to present in my body. I never practice to present in my soul. My ego is the boss. My ego is my boss because I am present in my ego because of my body. Whole life practice. This is material life, and and what is the spiritual life? When I want to be understand the soul. Then I will move first. It's a basic. After 20 years, if you will not realize it, what subject can give you realize? It's a big block. Ten years you practice in your life, and you will not understand material and From where it is start? Why we do bhajan? What is the necessity of doing bhajan? 
because I want to grow my soul consciousness as a spiritual life. If I will not develop, I will be funny man and suffering whole life in A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, F. No end for suffering. सारा इसी में आप जिसको देना है दे दीजिएगा नमक चाट मसाला The verbal root guk means protecting. Verbal root means the real root. Your protection yourself. If you don't protect the verbal root, she will die. And root is where you are. To protect that tree, nobody cut the root from the tree. We cut our root from the tree, and what is the uh, cutting the root? I cut the root that I don't know that I am a soul. I identify myself that I am a sensor. My body and my ego. There is no existence of soul. This is the Balva root. Root is Balva. What help you to protect? I forget that. Palle jayam, didi kiriya. This is the point. The basic root I follow. तो भोग चढ़ा हुआ नहीं है माता जी को दे के आओ भोग चढ़ा के दीदी को दे दो नहीं है बर्फ आने से गिरी दारे does not feel the slightest distress while lifting Govardhana hill. His pleasure potency stands before him and solves everything. She is made of the quintessence of the Chintamani jewel of Maha Bhav, the pinnacle of love. सर मत क्या करो राज देते समय She is made of the quintessence of the Chintamani jewel of Mahabhav the pinnacle of love In sandalwood pulp or a chintamani stone, there is no ashara or useless refuse, but still. Chintamani stone. Chintamani stone. If you know the soul consciousness and you take shelter of Radha. Chinta money 
if you think something, it will happen to you. That is Chinta If you think for Radhika, it will happen. Govardhan Hill, Krishna took because he is thinking for Radhika and Radhika is standing in the front of Krishna. See, Krishna never tired to take Govardhan See, Chintaman, she is the <coughs> touch is stone. Kalpa Priksha. What you will think it will have it is she will fulfill all desires. This is Radhika. For that is a different way of movement. Not from your body consciousness you can reach there. Even the Krishna you cannot reach there with body. You have to take shelter of the soul to move to super soul. And for, for, from there Krishna, He will show you the way of Radhika, then you will move there. It's not easy. But you can make easy only by knowing yourself that you are a spiritual soul, that you take the way of Chintaman. Read again. Loud little. Loud little. She is made of the quintessence of the Chintamani jewel of Mahabhava, the pinnacle of love. In sandalwood pulp or a chintamani stone, there is no ashara or useless refuse. But still, her Mahabhava is the shara or quintessence of the chintamani jewel of prema. Giridari does not feel the slightest distress while lifting Govardhana hill. You see? You don't feel a stress. <laughs> Why? Read more. His pleasure potency stands before him and solves everything. This is Kalpa. She saw everything from Father and She is made of the quintessence of the Chintamani jewel of Mahabha, the pinnacle of love. In sandalwood pulp or a Chintamani stone, there is no ashara or useless refuse, but still her Mahabhava is the Shara or quintessence of the Chintamani jewel of Prema. <coughs> the maid servants say, Shama. Do you know why you're so beautiful? Because your Priya is here. Oh, 
राधा संग याद भाती तदा मदना मोहना अन्यथा विस्म होती स्वयं मदना मोहिता When he shines with Radha, he is Madana Mohana, the enchanter of Cupid. But otherwise, he is himself enchanted by Cupid, although he enchants the whole world. Ciò di gopera, mano radha, man matera, mana mate, namadhara, madana mohana. Mounting the chariots of the gopis' desires, he steers even Cupid's mind. Hence he is called Madana Mohana. Balabi Bhuja Lata Badhe Mano Bhavati Brahmani Mano Me Ramata. The Supreme Brahman delights my mind when it is bound by the wine like arms of the cowherd girls. Krishna is very happy when someone calls him Radha Sevaka, the servant of Radha. But almost nobody says this. Shri Krishna is so much under Radha's control that he is willing to give everything to those who serve her. Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati writes in Radha Rasa Sudhaniti, O Sri Radha Madhupati, cancels innumerable offenses of anyone who even once relishes the nectarian spiritual flavor of your name. And in great ecstasy, he considers what is the greatest gift he can give to such a person. Who can then imagine the glories of someone whose mind is fixed on becoming your maidservant? Srila Raghunata Das Goswami says, I don't want anything else but your excellent service. If I am not qualified for your service, then please, at least, make me attached to the aspiration so that one day I may get it. Let me truly have eager spiritual thirst for your service. Sri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings Tomara Charana Padma Prema Bhakti Rasa Sadma Dasi Bhava Seva Vinatara 
जीवन मरा ने हया मोन मोर नई छया साकित वादे आज्ञ की छुआरा Your lotus feet are the abode of love and devotion. In life or in death, I don't want anything else but a service mood towards them. I don't want friendship with you or anything else nayani sakhera guna tai devi puna puna tava sakhe mora namaskara yadi bolo laja pai sakit vera nai chai kintu mona Vashana Tahara, Suno Devi Nivedana, Sela Lasa Kadachana, Nahi Udhe Amara Ridaya, Tava Dasya Rase Mora, Sada Mone Rao Pora, Ei Satya Jahibe Niskoi. I don't know the qualities of friendship. Therefore, O Devi, I offer my abeyances to it again and again. And if you say, you don't want my friendship just because you are shy, but you actually desire it within your mind then listen o devi to my petition this desire has never arisen in my heart my mind is always filled with Dasya Rasa, that you should know for sure. End of comment of verse 16. Friendship is more better than servant because the friends can sit together. Servant has to sit down, right? Then why Raghunath Das Goswami is asking a service servant? Because friend has same desire but other friend has. What I want to do, my friend also wants to do. And friend has desire to be with Krishna. I'm a friend of Radhika, but my desire has to meet his boyfriend also. I make the friendship, but my desire is that also. One day I will also meet with him. So, Raghunath Das Goswami is telling, this is not my little desire even. To make somebody, you want to make friends, but I don't want. Because the friend has desire of you to meet Krishna one day. I want your servant and I want only you, not your friendship. I want to be your Dasi servant, only to serve him. And servant has no other responsibility, only one responsibility to serve to the boss. His friend, his 
relatives and neighbor, no meaning for them. Meaning is the boss only to care to my boss. So I want to care only you. I don't have a desire to meet with Krishna, your lover. And I want to serve him also when he comes near to you. That is the meaning of that. Verse 17. Ati sulalita lakshaslista sobhyagya mudra tati bir adhika tusya chinnati kritya bahu nakha dalita haridra garva gori priyamna Charana Kamala Seva Hakada Dasya Sitvama. Or you whose golden hue possesses the pride of the color of a turmeric bulb scratched by a fingernail. When will you, heavy, out of the great satisfaction, marked my arms with your emblems of good fortune, that are anointed with your very lovely foot leg? bestow the service of your lotus feet on me. Srimati Radhika is very satisfied with Sri Raghunatha Dasa's limitlessly eager prayer for devotional service in the last verse. Yeah. Shri Mati Radhika is very satisfied with Shri Raghunatha's Das limitlessly eager prayer for devotional service in the last verse, Sri Raghunatha Das laments, I don't wish to be acquainted with anyone who is not related with you in this world. Let the whole world know. With, with whom in control? With Radhika. Yes, yeah. he doesn't want to know me. If, if you are not with Radhika, what is the use of your friend, your association? No, I don't like it. Read again this one. I don't wish to be acquainted with anyone who is not related with you in this world. Let the whole world know that I have nobody else but you. Everyone will understand that Tulasi is Sri Radhika's maidservant. 
the eternal spiritual absorption of Sri Raghunath Das is an adulterated Danu Van Manu the eternal spiritual absorption from where it will go? From source. Not from your senses, body, and ego. Tanu van manubir aham tavasmi. I am yours with body, mind, and words. If I accept my soul, my body, this body is for you, not for funny things. If this mind, I agree, false ego, is only for thinking for you, not false ego. Body, mind, and words. He said that he have only one identification, very strongly, no? When he said, let all world know that I'm your... Because I have to practice the truth. Not that I will be all world will know without my practice. <laughs> my practice has to do that, then people will know. My practice to do sense enjoyment, to think for the girl, and my people will know this, that I'm thinking for you. My body will react like that. My mind will work for that. My words will come like that. This is happening to me, then it, it will come. Nothing can disturb my, you know, uh, my any material identification. Then public will know, all living beings will know that, that I am your master. I'm not your maid servant. It is not this happening. My life. Anything in the mind, any girls in the mind, any material thing is mine. You are not there. My body will act for that and not for you and my words will come and I will think inside only for her, only for other things. I will think that is my Radhika. That is my God. This is the this is nothing. This is all false. Hypocrisy. This is the practical behavior it will come in my life. It will be practical Behavior will change. That people will know that my behavior is like that. My words will be like that. My body will work like that. My mind will work like that. Without practice, impossible. Without soul consciousness, impossible.
by touch of the spiritual thing, all will become pure. That is the divine purity. We will got it. That my material thing is not changing now. That is very useful. My life becomes useful for the service. I am not just your quiet, hidden maid servant. Hidden. Public will know by my behavior of my body, my mind and my words. How other knows? Because my body is that talking, which direction I want to go. My mind is that moving and my body moves for that. My mind is fixed with you. My all wishes in your lotus feet. I am very conscious with myself that I am a soul. So this purity comes inside. And you will not mark me if my behavior not changed. Mark me? My behavior changed is mark me. When the behavior changed to the person, they are marked. Self-enjoyment, they are not, they are coming and dying in no many All the Mahajan who come in this material world, they are all marked their behavior, their mind, thinking, body and the words are different. Only for one point they They are talking and everything. Because they are living in their soul consciousness, in their spirit. Now in floods with others. Ego. It will swallow your ego because of the marked 
movements. My behavior will change, my behavior will change, and my ego will swallow by that. It will be automatic vanish because my body starts working different directions. My mind is working in different direction, and my words coming in the only one pointed. I was not in the influence of false ego. It will swallow by the mercy of my spiritual identification. will realize it. It was only false what I understand truth. There's no more water for the roots of false ego, so he vanished. Yeah. Right. We are not rooting to my false ego and my material self. False ego by material but and my senses. We are rooting to the soul person by the grace of mercy of the Swami. This is our mercy he shows us. So I want to fix myself in my spiritual identity to be her mark. Even in so-called external consciousness, the twanging of the Siddhasvaru is audible. Again, even in so-called external consciousness, the twanging of the seed has varub is audible. Even in the external consciousness, means in body consciousness. My Siddha Sarup is audible, audio, I can see that audio, that Ramani is there. Others are in camera, but Ramani is living there. Audible, my Siddha Sarup, my spiritual identity, audible to me to see that. That's the article. Many are not audible, you see. Why? Because they are want to be in material concepts. They are not audible, they don't can see them. Right? They join with ignorance, <laughs> with the cut condition covering. This is happening. It will not hurt you without your behavior is not changing. Listening, but what is the meaning of listening, they don't understand. They are not hurt even. even to the Guru then. <laughs> How they will see themselves, their spiritual form, and then they will think that my material body is my form, 
and my senses, I am the senses, I am the false ego. What is the meaning to understand that I am a soul? It's not audible to me. I cannot see myself. Are you never try to do that. You will know when you will leaving body, dying body, then it will be audible that you are not dead. Material body, plastic body, only your assets will show you that your soul is gone from this body. That day will be audible. When you will bring the somebody in Arabia, dead body, then it will be audible. This is my ignorance. We want to be in ignorance, we don't want to to come out from the ignorance because my life is no meaning if I am not suffering. I am material world, I come to suffer, to live in my ego and my senses. Right. Even in so-called external consciousness, the twanging of the Siddhasvaru is audible. Even then, the devotee covets the service of Sri Radha. Yeah. Yeah. Covet? Desires. Covet. Ah, you see? Covet attack. You can see. Covet everyone can see. Desire. When you will not see audible to your senses, you will not call you. You have to change your behavior. And if the behavior you don't want to change, it will be never, never audible to us. Okay.